I'm already looking ahead, essentially from the beginning of the climb to where the whole thing goes. And I, I knew where I wanted to break it up approximately. Um, I'm, I'm liking this area here for a variety of reasons. One is it, it, it naturally breaks the climb up where we want to make pitches. Uh, two is ice climbing is always, always has the threat of overhead falling hazard with ice coming off. So you really have to look for where you can find protected stances. This area has a, almost like a cave-like feature to it, so it affords me that. It's also got a nice big ledge uh, that I could stand on. And uh, maybe most importantly, it has good ice where I can get a solid anchor. So that's plenty of reason to choose this spot here. Puts, puts us in good position for leading out the curtain on the final pitch here. So let me come on up and get my anchor going. Now that I've chosen where I'm going to put it. And of course, the last bit of climbing here, sometimes a little run out, because it's, you know, you're just trying to get to the anchor. I'm gonna try and get myself secure sooner than later. So now that I've decided where I wanna be um, and where I'd like to anchor, I'd like to get myself secured. This is a dangerous sport. And I don't need to make it even more dangerous than it already is. So. Yeah, I want to get an ice screw in. Um, like any anchoring, rock, ice, whatever, I, I, I need to make it a good place to work from. I mean, this is my job, so I want my, my desk, if you will, to be in a good position so I don't get problems. And the best place for me is going to have it relatively high, within reach, but not somewhere I have to uh, bend down. Now, that's all given equal opportunities for good anchoring ice, which looks pretty good all in here. You can see it's gray here, so it may not be super thick. A little more white here, probably a little more solid. You can see it's a little wet. Uh, that's more recently formed ice. Uh, probably gonna be better for putting in ice screws and hopefully not as uh, brittle to, to break. I might choose a longer ice screw for the anchor, um, simply because I want the anchor is, is, is what's holding the ship and I, I want this thing to be as solid as possible. So, well, I, it does look maybe not quite as thick as I'd like, but let's see here. If this thing bottoms out, and get it started, there we go, um, then I can always put in another screw that's shorter if it bottoms out. So I'm careful, because I suspect this could be thin, I'm careful with how hard I'm drilling in. I, I hit the bottom. So that ice screw is okay, but not good. If I simply put in a smaller ice screw in the same hole, I'll have a better anchor. So it's okay to do that. It's called a rebore. Now, if I, since I just put it in there, it's pretty fresh. And it's perfectly fine. And this one will go in real easy. If it's been there a while, someone else made the ice screw, um, then you want to be a little more careful with your rebores. If they feel nice and tight, you're good. If it feels loose and rattly, no good. There are different ice screws that have different diameters and obviously if you have a wider diameter one, uh, you're in better shape than, than if you're putting it into a smaller hole. I got one ice screw in. That's not enough for an anchor, but it is enough for me to make myself safer than I am. I got a lot of options right now. One might just simply be to use one of the two holes. Maybe I'll use the lower one in this case and just clip myself in for a piece of protection. Right now, I am way safer than I was the rest of the time I've been talking. So all of a sudden, I've got protection right here. If I wanted to, I could secure myself to this. And it's certainly not the, the manner in which I'm gonna completely secure myself, but simply making this into a clove. Bam, it gives me just a little less worry about getting dropped if I fell, although I'm on belay. So that's another option. Of course, if I wanted to, I could have used a, a locking carabiner and done the same thing here. Now, I don't generally just anchor myself to one ice screw, but I could secure myself temporarily that way. And, and argue, are obviously, uh, non-locking carabiners is not how I secure myself ultimately to the anchor. I have not taken myself off belay. This just affords me a little more security while I get the rest of the anchoring built up.